Right, back again. I'm thinking of doing a, trying to do a simple line and wash using the black acrylic paint and a rigger and whatever brushes are available to make the marks but just a very simple river scene I've, I've done several of them before but uh, I, I'm still really enjoying using the uh, the drawing with the black with the black ink it's certainly different and probably cheaper than using the proper black ink the thing is once you dry it it's permanent and it doesn't shift when you put your add your paint to it add your water to it your washes so we'll uh, start just a, a few few reads got some harder ones give a bank coming down down here no I'm just using a little bit of water with it as well You can you pass these off as, as uh, finished paintings. Well, they're, they're really fun to do. We'll put some trees in as well, but we'll, let's just oh, nice reeds. Coming up here to the to the banking. I'll put the trees. I don't do sort of people or animals. The the skill I haven't got. It's just that I, I I do this sort of stuff. I I spent a year painting Venice, Venice backwaters in oil, and it's not wasn't me. I was all done for money and. But it was, I learnt a lot, but, but this is my sort of love, English landscape. I love doing this sort of, sort of thing. It, it's, uh, well, you can, I lose myself in, in these effects. I'm going to do some, some, some reflections. Right, that would be one side the, the, the basis of it. I'll put trees in a minute. But I want to just get this around there. It's all sort of random. I'm trying to make this easy for you because what well, it, it is when you've done a lot of it, it's it's making it look spontaneous. And what you put sticking up, put sticking down as well. the canal uh, not going to put a building in there I'm, I'm happier just not doing buildings I just want rough rough ground my river wander or uh, impressions that, that's all I do I don't copy exactly I've given up that Try to make a painting. So try to make a personal statement, really. That is you, your your language, your painting language.
Okay, so stuff like that. I just add in for lights and just. Oh, just using the heel of the brush, it's got a bit of ink stuck on it. I would call this the River Wanderer line of wash. Shows reeds and bramble and all sorts of stuff that is tangling the, the bank. Put a bit of a so I'll get carried away now. Well, what carrying away? No, oh, it's pretty a bit, a bit of harder stuff. Well, I'll just do a bit of this. Okay, so stronger here, weaker there. Here, just into a bit of shadow. Whoops, do you want that? Let's just weaken that a little bit with a bit of. Okay, so right, let's see what we can make of that with some colour. Probably got carried away a bit. I'll dry it off, so take your headphones off. Okay, so we've got Fabriano 130 pound paper, black acrylic ink. My palette is in a, a Ziploc bag, keeping moist. So first thing is to wet the paper all over, all wet in wet. Get a bit warm in there, so some sienna. Right, let's let's go a bit more experimental with the sky. So let's have a bit of bit of a dark sky. So let's just try to keep the light in the middle on this one. Bit of alizarin, bit of bit of blue. The brush has split, so I'm just going to bring it back together again.
Okay, so there, there we are. Let's just see if I can get that a bit further down in there. Right, okay. I'll re-clip the paper, then I might do a bit of a dry. So we get the background colours in. Right, headphones off. I'm only drying around the periphery, around, around the, the light because I don't want the, the new wet paint to disappear into the background. So, so we're going to put some nice blue in there. more dark shadow. In here. And then we'll put some some greeny colours in. Nice neat paint. But because I've kept the paint moist, thanks to Maria, I uh, I can work with almost wet paint straight out of the tube. Oh, let's just get some reflections in here. some green in there and some spring spring greens sort of okay, a bit of a mess Let's so just etch out some To make of this one now. I think it was, I think I've probably ruined it. I'll just try it off. Got a bit of a bit of rigor detail.
Well, we've got plenty of colour in it. We've also got plenty of mud, haven't we? But anyway, put a signature on it. I'll put it in the mouth and we'll, we'll have a look. It's really it's an exercise of working as fast as I can using uh, black acrylic paint. So we'll put, put, put this one on, back on it. So there we are. We've, we've, it's fair. This is. I think the effect is quite quite reasonable. Probably overdone this one here, but but anyway, we've got the reeds in. We've got the distance. We've got some spring green. We've got some reflection. So uh, let me know what you think of that one. Thanks for watching. Oh, right, bring you in. Let's just wind this up a little bit. Right, come down to the right. Okay, let's zoom in. So this is what we've done for the foreground. Just very simple, very spontaneous. Make it up as you go along. Stand back and let let rip. Go for it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.